What's up guys, Anwar here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. And you know, we do an awful lot of Android customization videos. Well, I thought to change things up for a while and why not focus on a video that takes us through a Windows 10 customization tutorial and how you can make your computer or your laptop's home screen look absolutely incredible for completely free of charge. So in today's video, we're taking a look on how you can make your desktop or your laptop look absolutely stunning. So so without any further ado, if this video interests you, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is essentially the home screen look that we're going for. We've got this gorgeous, you know, wallpaper, which is this urban night sky that I found on Unsplash. It will be linked in the description below. Then we've got these two pair of widgets. You've got a clock and then you've got a date and time widget over here. At the bottom, we've got an incredibly minimal visualizer that reacts to any and every music that you play on your computer. And in case you're looking or searching for the toolbar or the taskbar of Windows 10, well, all you have to do is swipe or take your cursor to uh, the bottom part of the screen and the taskbar reveals itself with the icons carefully, uh, you know, matched in the center of the desktop. Now, I'm going to walk you through on how you can do every single thing on your own. So yeah, with that said, let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is before we get into downloading everything, we want to make sure that our taskbar looks good. Now, for this, you want to go to your taskbar, right click and make sure that everything is essentially hidden. So all these options options like the show Cortana button as well as the show task view button. You want to hide all of this. So just click on it once and uncheck them. And then what you want to do is go to the search bar and also make that hidden so that the search icon or the search box is no longer there. This one is what I'm talking about. So what you want to do is again, right click, go to search and make sure it's on hidden. Then you want to go to toolbars and make sure links is selected. Now, essentially, I'm going to show you guys what happens if it's not selected. So let's say it's not selected. Usually all your icons are arranged on the left hand corner. Now if you unlock the taskbar and go to links, as you guys can see, once you go to toolbar and links, you'll see this little uh, line that you can drag and essentially this lets you rearrange all the icons on your taskbar. So you want to click on it and drag it to the other side until all the icons start appearing from the right hand side of the screen. So you want to drag it completely, then it's going to start appearing from the right hand side. Then you want to make sure that it's perfectly calibrated in the middle right above, you know, your visualizer. And once you're done with everything to make sure that the settings don't get messed up, what you want to do is right click and go to lock the taskbar. This is going to lock the taskbar from any future changes. So that's that. Now, in case you guys are wondering on how to get you know, this full screen mode and your taskbar to appear uh, when, whenever you pull your cursor through it. All you have to do is right click again, go to taskbar settings and make sure that automatically hide the taskbar as well as use peak to preview the taskbar are both switched on. What this does is essentially hide your taskbar when you're not using it or when your cursor is not on the taskbar. And whenever you want to use it, all you have to do is drag your cursor to the taskbar and the taskbar pops up with this cool transition. Now, once that is done you guys should set the wallpaper again links will be in the description below on where you can download that also a quick thing that i forgot how to mention in case you guys don't know how to you know remove anything on your home screen from being shown when you don't want it to all you have to do is right click on your home screen go to view and make sure that the show desktop icons is unchecked so that nothing is visible on the home screen and once that is done let's move on to the widgets and let's see how we can apply them so the first thing that you want to do is go to the second link in the description below and it'll take you to a website called rainmeter.net. Now this is essentially your desktop customization tool. Think of it like KWGT or Super Widget if you're coming from an Android customization background like I am. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure you hit on downloading the final release. Now once you download and install it, you'll have a lot of widgets which will be from the basic Rainmeter pack. Let me just show you what you guys will see. So you guys are going to see widgets like this such as 
is the welcome widget of rain meter so once you see widgets like this appear on your home screen you've succeeded in installing it and all you have to do is to remove them first of all because we're not using the basic skins so you want to right click on top of the skin and go to the last option that is unload skin that will remove it from your home screen and make sure you remove all the skins so that you have a complete blank desktop I'm just gonna show you what it's gonna look like I'm gonna unload everything right now and you should basically have a desktop that looks like this with your toolbar taskbar modified and this really cool wallpaper now the next thing that you want to do is go to the third link in the description it's going to take you to a link in deviantart and over here you have to download this skin for rain meter which is called metal credits to hip hopium for uh, you know providing this to us and what you have to do is hit on this download button all right once this is downloaded it's essentially going to download uh, you know a rain meter skin and then what you want to do is go to the fourth link and also download the clock style that we're using again this is again another link to DeviantArt and this is called Elegance 2 you want to hit on the same download button and it's going to download it again once it is downloaded you want to click on both of them separately and install them for rain meter so the first thing uh, is metal and then if you go back to your home screen you'll see the settings tab and all this now for this particular setup, I'm only using, you know, the visualizer. So what I'm going to do is again, unload the other clock skins as well as the music player. It's the same way. Just right click on them and go to the last option, which says unload skin. Now, once that is done, I want to drag this visualizer. So just click and drag on it uh, to the bottom part of my home screen so that it perfectly matches up uh, with the icons and my taskbar. And it looks good like this. Now, this is going to react to any music that you play. So for example, you guys can see I'm playing a YouTube music playlist right now and it's reacting to that. Now, once that is done, you want to unload everything and install the second, which is the elegance pack that we downloaded from the fourth link in the description below so once that is done hit on install as well and you guys will be good to go now in case you guys don't have the elegance widgets directly pop up on your screen after installing them what you want to do is simply go to the visualizer skin and then go to rain meter and hit on manage from here you can navigate to elegance and you can see that you have got the clock and you know the date widgets here so I'm using the clock horizontal so go to clock click on the first one and hit on load this is going to pop up the clock and you can see over here we've already have it then we want the date so again date horizontal and hit on load and you've got the date as well simply drag them to your desired area of the screen to essentially you know resize them or reposition them anywhere you want I particularly really like it on the left hand top corner of the screen and it totally complements the entire vibe that I have going on uh, in case you guys want to configure any of the settings in uh, you know these widgets all you have to do is go to right click uh, go to settings as as well as elegance slash clock otherwise relatively what you can do is go to rain meter hit on manage then again go to elegance and hit on configuration and load that and if you want to change the clock style to a 12 hour or a 14 hour clock you can install the second configuration and hit on load and over here you can select whether you want a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock now you can also you know configure the colors by clicking on the configure option of the clock and you can configure the colors here now this is really really cool and super intuitive and that is pretty much it just with that much we've already created this particular home screen now keep in mind you can completely mess around there are a lot of other you know skins that you can find for clock widgets and visualizer in deviant art and as long as you have rain meter and a cool background from unsplash the possibilities are absolutely endless they're gonna look absolutely insane and really really cool and uh, well guys that is pretty much it for today's Windows 10 customization tutorial if this video does well I'll make sure to you know come up with new settings and new home screens and new widgets from rain meter that you guys can use and I can make to make my desktop look a little better and uh, yeah that is pretty much it until then this is Anubhav signing out you guys have a great day I'll catch you guys next time with a new video soon peace out Oh,